Hey, what's for dinner? Hind quarters. All right, y'all. Here's another cooking video. Gonna show you what to do with your venison, or at least something else to do with it. I'm gonna make Chinese pepper steak. You can use venison, no guy, any type of meat you got. Most people are just gonna use beef, but since I got a couple hundred pounds of nil guy, it's gonna be nil guy pepper steak. It's pretty easy to make, and uh, so I'm just gonna show you the recipe. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need about a pound of meat. You know, beef, venison, nil guy, antelope. Uh, never used pork, but I guess you could probably do that too. Okay, you're gonna need a couple of bell peppers, an onion, definitely some soy sauce. And then to make the gravy, you can either use cornstarch or flour. And it's just like making brown gravy, you know, just add it to cold water, you know, a couple of teaspoons of flour to some cold water, add a little soy sauce into it, that's how you make your brown gravy. Mix it up and then you'll see how we add it later. Okay, take your meat. What you want to do is just cut this stuff into strips, cross the grain. And I usually leave it kind of, you want either bite sized pieces or fairly long, maybe quarter inch thick. I mean, just do like that, cut across the grain. Now, check out that nil guy. I mean, that's some good looking meat right there. Okay, let me finish cutting this up. Okay, y'all, got the meat cut. What we're going to do is add some uh, Kiko Man soy sauce to this. This is kind of got to act like a marinade. Okay, we're going to add this ginger powder also. Just a little bit, nothing major. And I also have some Ponzu soy sauce. I just add a little of that just to kick it up a bit. Mix this around. And we're going to set this in the refrigerator, let it kind of marinate for about 30 40 minutes. And it's just going to help it out. One last ingredient, guys you're going to need some fish sauce. That's going to make it the international equivalent to goodness. <laughs> It just helps out the gravy a bit and kind of kicks off the flavor. Alright y'all, we're going to stir fry outside on the deep fryer. Hopefully this will come out, it's kind of hard to see in the sun, can't see the viewfinder. But we'll see how it works. Got to add a little garlic. Gonna stir fry this meat real quick. soy sauce. Okay y'all, we got the vegetables glazed a little bit. We're going to add the meat back in there.
gotta add a little fish sauce. That's it. Just let it boil a little bit, let the vegetables get a little soft. And that is genuine pepper steak. As you can see, gravy thickened up. And it's just that simple. Can't beat that with a stick. Well, as you can tell, guys, it's real easy to cook pepper steak. Basically, it's peppers, onions, and meat. A little soy sauce, some water, cornstarch. Doesn't get much simpler than that. I usually cook it inside, but the wife yells at me when I kind of mess up her kitchen. But anyway, here's the finished product. As you can see, it looks pretty darn good. You want to serve that with rice. But it should taste pretty much just like out of the restaurant. And you can see that brown gravy right there. And it's really good. So don't be scared to just kind of add whatever you like. Because uh, it's going to come out pretty good. Alright, that's it. That's pepper steak. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. This is how you eat it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good.